Italy now has the largest coronavirus death toll outside China. Authorities there announced 49 more deaths on Friday, bringing the overall toll to just shy of 200. As the economic impact starts to sink in, the Italian tourism industry is already predicting losses of $8 billion. Charlie Dagada is in Rome this morning. Charlie, good morning. Well, good morning from the Vatican, which has just announced its first case. The big question now is what kind of impact is that going to have in the run-up to Holy Week and Easter next month? With cases across Italy surging again, now at more than 4,600, nearly 200 dead, it was only a matter of time before the virus penetrated the Vatican walls, too. In extreme measures to face the spread head on, Italy ordered a nationwide shutdown of schools and universities. American students studying abroad had already got the call to pull out, like Eric Mead from Montgomery County, Maryland. If I want to stay, like, I should be able to stay and... So if it were up to you, you'd be like, no way I'm staying. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Like, I want to stay and I don't think that it's necessary for me to go home. The vast majority of victims are among the elderly, and Italy's got the oldest population in Europe. The government has urged older citizens to stay indoors. But as this crisis deepens, Italy now faces a new normal and an uncertain future. American Always, University uh, President Richard Hodges. When you first got an idea of what was going on, what went through your mind? Uh, it could threaten the future of the university. That, that dramatic. Yes, because who, who knows how long this will go on for. Students we spoke to are less worried of falling ill with the virus than being stuck here or infecting family members back home. And I think, like, like it's just like it's spreading everywhere. Mm. Like, I don't think, like, America is going to be, like, a special case where it just, like, magically, like, doesn't spread. Now we're told students will finish their coursework online. By the way, they said they were fine being treated by the Italian health care system. It's not only very good, it's free. Michelle? How about that, Charlie Daggett in Rome? Thank you.